ascend and, and hopefully pray with us. Odds Craig and Charlene um, as well. They have been doing very well with her self and becoming a church member as well. Thank you very much. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is everything. Praise the Lord. So because of this reason, each and every day, whenever we are thank you for the prayer, okay, the first time we are praying, God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. So may our God bless you more and more in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. So today, like every day, we have a wonderful session. Today also we are preaching this gospel. This uh, if any people cannot be able to join, they can join in Zoom also. And physically we can edit. Right there. But here we will not send anybody Zoom link. People can locally leave in people, people then come to the church. Otherwise they will be lazy. Right I will not send you Zoom link. Right so that you can come directly locally to the church. Physically, the people are the far from the city, they can join in Zoom. Praise the Lord. So, today we have a wonderful church of uh, praise and worship. We can give thanks to the Lord. Today I would like to read uh, book of Mark chapter 8 verse 27. In this Apostle Peter, he is declaring Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Praise the Lord. Jesus is a Christ. Praise the Lord. Apostle Peter you know that one. The nature of Apostle Peter. Apostle Peter. He was. One of the disciples. Among the twelve disciples. He was already. Always. Standing in front of all the disciples. And asking. The questions. A lot of things to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was so much happy with. Apostle Peter. This word, we have to ask to the Lord, then our God will speak to you. Most of the people are, they are keeping quiet. We have to, you should not do like that. We have to ask to the Lord always. Then our God is very, very happy to respond. Always your prayer answer. Praise the Lord. In this Bible says, book of Mark chapter 8, verse 27. In this Bible says, Jesus and his disciples went on the villages around the Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he asked them, Who do who do people say I am? Jesus Christ was saying, Who I am? What others are saying about me? Book of Mark chapter 8, verse 28 and 29, Bible says, they replied, Some day, some say, John the Baptist. Others say Elijah and still others one of the prophets. Then Bible says, Jesus Christ was saying, what you are thinking about me? What about you? He asked. Who do you say I am? Then Peter answered, you are the Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then Jesus Christ said, Jesus warned them not to tell anyone about him. Peter was saying, Jesus is a Christ. How Peter could able to receive this revelation? It's very important. One. Peter was received this revelation from the Holy Spirit, from the Heavenly Father. The Father in the heaven, the God Almighty revealed Apostle Peter, this is a Christ. This is a Savior. Praise the Lord. In our place. Sometimes you know that one. We cannot say at what time, which day, our God will reveal, our God will speak to you. But one day, be in prayer. At any time, maybe today or tomorrow, 
any other time, any other hour, our God will give you the revelation, our God can get you the vision, our God can speak to you directly to you. Praise the Lord. In this Bible says, the Spirit of God is revealed. Apostle Peter, to Apostle Peter, what the Spirit of God is revealed? The Spirit of God is revealed. Jesus is a Christ. Then after that, then Jesus warned them not to tell anyone about him. When you are reading book of Matthew chapter 28 verses 18, Jesus Christ, after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was saying to all the disciples, what Jesus Christ was saying, then Jesus came to them and said, All the earth in heaven and on earth, He has been given to me. The God who was revealed that Jesus is a Christ. After the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, the Heavenly Father was handed over, over to all the authority over the heaven and earth to Jesus Christ. Then what Jesus Christ was saying to the disciple, verse 19, Bible says, Therefore go and make disciples all nations. Baptizing them, your baptism is ready, praise the Lord. <laughs> Baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Before baptism, there is a teaching, praise the Lord. That's what you are getting, praise the Lord. Maybe you are thinking, how long you are taking for the baptism? You are learning everything. Listen, I don't know, you have got the Bible, right? How many lessons you have finished? Did you finish all? What, how many books you have finished? Read, okay, read Bible, the Gospel of John, and one by one, praise the Lord. The Spirit of God will reveal you. Bible says, all the other earth in the heaven and earth, our heavenly Father has handed over to me. This authority, if you want to get authority from the heaven, in your normal flesh, you cannot go and preach this gospel. You cannot use this authority in your normal flesh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, uh, praise the Lord. Bible says, so what you have to do it? Your normal authority, in your normal, in your normal flesh, you cannot do anything by yourself. But you need to receive the power of the Holy Spirit. What is the power of the Holy Spirit? The Spirit, Holy Spirit, that means the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God will enable you, will get you the power in your spirit. When you are getting the power in your spirit, you yourself get a transformation from your normal body to the spiritual level, praise the Lord. That time, the Spirit of God will lead you what you should do, what you should not do. Jesus Christ was saying to all the disciples, Book of Matthew chapter 28, verses 20, Bible says, Baptizing them, verse 29, what? Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the every end of the age. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. After giving the authority, what Jesus Christ has done? When you are reading the book of Acts, you have to read the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 2 and 3. Jesus Christ was given the authority. After that, Jesus Christ was God resurrected to the heaven, seated in the right hand of the Heavenly Father. Before that, Jesus Christ was giving a commandment to the disciple. What was the commandment? Commandment Jesus Christ was giving, book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 2. Until the day, next week, you can bring the Bible also, okay? You can also read, okay? <laughs> Thank you. So, until the day he was taken up to heaven, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles he had chosen, what he was given, the instructions, 
He was given instructions. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, telling to them, praise the Lord. Do not depart from the Jerusalem. Verses 4 Bible says, on one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ was given his authority and power. After you read the Bible, without getting the power from the Holy Spirit, you cannot do anything. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. After getting, after my baptism, if I am not getting the power from the Holy Spirit, I cannot pray, pray for any other sick people. I cannot preach the gospel again. I can preach the gospel, but the power of the demonstration of the power of the Holy Spirit, I cannot execute. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That means I can do something in my flesh, but in spiritual level, I cannot do it. If you want to do something in spiritual level, you should receive the power from the above. Praise the Lord. You can repeat the power from above. Power from above. Power from above. Praise the Lord. Power from above. You have to receive it. That's what, okay. All the disciples, they were obeying what Jesus Christ said. They were not into deny. They were obeying the commandment of the Lord. Book of Acts chapter 1, verses 4 and 5. Bible says, Book of Acts chapter 1, verses 5, Bible says, For John baptized with the water, and in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just you can read. All the disciples, when they, they were obeyed the commandment of the Lord, then what happened? Book of Acts. Chapter 2, verses 1, we can read that one. When they were, when the day of Pentecost came, they were all together on the place. Suddenly, praise the Lord, the power of the Holy Spirit came down from the heaven and filled the whole house where they, they, where they were sitting. Praise the Lord, the power of the Holy Spirit. They could be able to fill the anointing, the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Bible says, all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues and Spirit enabled them. Praise the Lord. This one again. Jesus Christ has commanded all the disciples obeyed. When they were praying, 120 people from the heaven, they got the tongues. Like these are tongues. Shitata, Shandalakala Thu Rakana, Shantata, Patakala Thu Rakani. These are Holy Spirit tongues, word of God. Praise the Lord. When you are receiving, the anointing from the Holy Spirit. You cannot simply sit in your house. You will go and preach this gospel. You will be witness the gospel, not at all, not only in the city, but in the another city, praise the Lord, where you are living, the surrounding places of London, surrounding places of the Portsmouth, the surrounding places of Birmingham, the surrounding countries of United Kingdom, in your countries, in various countries, you will be going, you will go and preach this gospel. How do you have it like that? Because the power of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord came to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that I want to say to all the people, you yourself cannot do the gospel work. When I was preaching the gospel in the street, I want to say in my testimony, I was preaching, praying the gospel, preaching the gospel in the street. 2017, I started to preach the gospel. 2017. Most of the people, I was alone when I started to preach this gospel. I was alone. No place with me. Praise the Lord. At least you got some experience when you come to speak. Praise the Lord. You got it. The first of the initial time, I have from my heart, somebody was pushing me to preach this gospel. But I could not be able to face in front of any of the people. Not for shy, shining, but you know, the Spirit was pushing me to preach this gospel. I don't know how you are feeling when you came to the street last night. Even today too, 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, last five years, Pastor Joel is doing the same work. No other places, 
to all the towns, wherever I can go, or wherever Holy Spirit is sending to me to preach this gospel. I was doing accordingly. How to happen like that? Because I was not at all doing the gospel work in my own flesh. I was not at all doing the gospel work in my own ability. But it was doing by the Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. You want to pray with Jesus Christ. So today, I want to say to all the people, all the disciples, when they receive the power from the heaven, they were not at all doing this gospel work by their own effort. Book of Acts, chapter 3, chapter 4, they were having the prosecution. Book of Acts, chapter 12, again, prosecution, it was continuously, it was going on the continuously. Apostle Peter, he was in the prison. The prosecution, it was happening one side, the another side. The Spirit of God is giving the protecting to all the disciples. Praise the Lord. Be wonderful God, Jesus Christ. The prosecution will come. Sufferings will come in your life. Without suffering, there is no gospel preaching. Without suffering, there is no glory. Without suffering, there is no success. Without fail, if you want to get success, praise the Lord, there will be some failures in your life. By the Lord, hallelujah, King David, he was in the wilderness before getting the anointing from the Holy Spirit. He was afraid of the Lord. He was not at all having to sleep the mattresses. He was not at all having the mattresses to sleep in the night. They had a day and night. He was looking at the sheep. From there, our God has raised him to stand in front of the Philistine army. Am I right? There was a suffering. Without suffering, there is no glory. By the Lord. Jesus Christ suffered. Without the suffering of the Jesus Christ, there was no glory. Apostle Peter, there was a suffering. Book of Acts chapter 10. Because of the suffering, all the churches, they were gathered together. They were praying to the Holy Spirit. The same time, the Spirit of God went in the presence where Apostle, Paul, Apostle Peter was. Book of Acts, chapter 10. Spirit of God was helping Apostle Peter to come out. Praise the Lord. The world people will do something greatest things against you. But if you are holding Bible, the Bible which I have given to you, this is the Bible. New King James Version, this is the Bible which I have given to you. If you are reading this Bible, if you are holding this Bible in your hand, nobody can defeat you. Praise the Lord. <laughs> This is what I mean. You cannot be a failure. This is what I mean. This is not the never look at the people. How many number of people are standing in Saturday place of you? Praise the Lord. Never look at people are supporting you. Praise the Lord. If you are holding this Bible always and all the time, you will get the successful stories in your life. Because this word is a living God. This word of God will destroy all the things which is coming against your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This Bible will help you, praise the Lord, to destroy all the things which is coming against your life, praise the Lord, hallelujah. So that if you are reading Bible today, you have already covered the coverage of, from the heaven, praise the Lord. Heavenly angels are standing surrounding places of you. Maybe you are thinking, I don't have money to uh, have food today. I was not having money to, uh, you know, that, to buy the breakfast today, praise the Lord. Does it matter? Even one day or two days, you could not be able to eat and drink. Does it matter? The spirit of when the presence of the Lord is getting you, the presence of the Lord will connect the right people. Praise the Lord. This presence of the Lord will get you the long life. Nothing to worry anything about your current situation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, I want to say to all the people today, if you are holding the Bible in your hand, praise the Lord, you cannot be a failure. Apostle Peter, he was holding wonderful name of Jesus Christ in his heart. In the prison, you know, Jacob, James, you know that one, uh, you know, the, the, you know, uh, there is a prosecution happened, another disciple. 
There was, you know, uh, lots of prosecution. It was going on. The surrounding places where were the disciples, wherever they were preaching the gospel. But Apostle Paul, in the middle of the prison, he was sleeping. How did it happen like that? Because the presence of the Lord was with him. He was thinking, this God can deliver me wherever I am. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This kind of confidence Apostle Peter he was having. Praise the Lord. When you are reading the church of prosecution, it was happening. The Philip and all the people, they were preaching. Prosecution, it was happening. One side. The another side. The disciple, they were preaching the gospel. Bible says, church was multiplied. Praise the Lord. Whenever prosecution it was happening, Bible says the church was multiplied. Multiplication of the church it was happening. How did it happen like that? Because the Spirit of God was leading them. Praise the Lord. Even today, never look at the empty chains. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know what I am doing. I am preaching the Savior, the powerful Lord, the living God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If our God is connecting one people, one person, two people, what do I have to do? They should be asking during the Wednesday prayer. Praise the Lord. They should be convert joint Wednesday prayers. When you are praying together, the commandment of the Lord, the promise of the Lord cannot be changed. One or two are gathering together. When you are praying together, our God will grant your prayer answer. Praise the Lord. This is the commandment. Promise of the Lord. Promise of the Lord cannot be changed. Praise the Lord. If you are both you are holding your hand, if you are praying, I can say, I will get the testimony from you within a week time. Praise the Lord. Because our God is a living God. He can give you to give the answer for your prayer. Praise the Lord. Promise of the Lord cannot be changed. When Apostle Peter, when he was in the prison, what happened? Church was praying. That means two, more, two or more people, they were praying together to get the deliverance of Apostle Peter. It was happened within a second, second, within a fraction of time. Praise the Lord. The same thing I want to say. Wherever the people, those who are preaching the gospel, you are thinking nobody is with me. You are thinking nobody is helping you. But heavenly angels are standing in the place of you. You know that one. Yesterday, I was preaching the gospel in Croydon. Praise the Lord. Citizen. You know, somebody for, you know, that I got some attack. You know that one. Uh, um, God is restoring. After a month of time, I am going to the city to pray the gospel. When I went there, they were saying, you know, when I went to the Croydon city center, 2019, no one was preaching this gospel. Only me was preaching the gospel. I was preaching the gospel. Praise the Lord. There was no street preacher in the city. After when I was preaching this gospel, other churches, they were start to preach this gospel. Praise the Lord. I would be able to encourage these people. The last one month, when I could not go there, Yesterday I went there, that time, people they were saying, the people, those who were preaching the gospel in the city center, Pastor, where you were? We were waiting for you long time. Praise the Lord. They were thinking, they were praying to the Lord for me. They were saying like that. I was praying for you. The street preacher, they were saying, I was praying for you. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and they were saying, after that they were saying, I, I got inspiration from the Holy Spirit. Pastor, I will meet you this week. You are here today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Whatever, you know, when you are thinking in our heart, it is not, even sometimes you think you are descending everything. No. Whatever you are thinking in your heart, Holy Spirit is giving the inspiration to think. Praise the Lord. To spread the good news for Him. I want to suppose to go yesterday to the central landing. The Spirit of God is leading me to go to the Crown Lord City Centre. Praise the Lord. Couple of people got saved. They accept Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is what I want to say to all the people. Praise the Lord. So, Bible says, Jesus Christ was appointed the twelve disciples. Our God has commanded them to pray this gospel. Before preaching this gospel, our God has given to them his power I handed over to them. Today, you are born again. After getting the baptism, you are getting the power from the heaven. Praise the Lord. That means you will be like me. That means you
you can cooperate all the gifts which our God has written in the Bible. You are blessed with all the spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. Book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Praise the Lord. You can pray for the sick people. You can pray for the people. You can break all the chains, all the curses which is there in your life. You will get a financial prize room. You will get a good health. You will get all the promises which our God has given to Abraham and Jacob and David. You cannot be a failure in your life. All the days our God will command his heavenly angels to get the protection for you. Praise the Lord, like me. Praise the Lord. That is what. When you are born again and baptism, this is our Lord. We cannot say the spiritual level. Lots of things are happening. Praise the Lord. How we can experience that means when you are worshipping our Lord in speech. Right? I am not praising the Lord in tongues here much. Because I am praying to the Lord to get the tongues. After your baptism, we will praise in tongues. Praise the Lord. More than you can also, Holy Spirit will touch you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 6. In this Bible says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Praise the Lord. Seek the Lord and call to the Lord because our God is near to you. Praise the Lord. After your death, you cannot pray. After your death, you are thinking, Oh God, can you send me? Can you get me one more life in this earth? No. Your time is over. Your allotted time is over. You cannot do anything. The dead people cannot take Jesus Christ's name in their tongue. Angels are not at all allowed to take Jesus Christ's name in their tongue. Only you and me, those who are born again, those who are taking the water baptism, you are allowed to take Jesus Christ's name in your tongue and pray for the sick people. Praise the Lord. This is the time which our God has given to you. You have to use this time very well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So Bible says, Book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 8, in which the Bible says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. You are thinking, you want to lead a small life here. But the will of God is not like that. The will of God was, you have to live not only in this world, but our God, but also our God want to prepare a table for you in front of your enemies. Praise the Lord. Book of Psalm, chapter 23. So that Bible says, who is, you know that one, who is made, making the trouble for you? Our God is saying, in front of them, our God will honor you. Our God will raise you. Our God will give the successful stories. Our God will give you a joyful heart in all the days, all the time. Praise the Lord. This is our God. So today, before I close this session, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to say to all the people, Jesus Christ, power is a great power. Only one life, this God has given to you. You have to serve this Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. After your death, you cannot serve the Lord. Book of Isaiah chapter 55, verse 10, Bible says, As the rain and the snow come down from the heaven, and do not return it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish so that it yields seed for the sober and bread for the eater. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish that I desire and achieve the purpose for which I said it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The word of God cannot be a failure. Praise the Lord. Today I want to say, maybe you are neglected from the, your family members, your friends, your colleagues. Praise the Lord. Our God will raise you up. This God will honor you. Praise the Lord. This God will give you the full of joyful heart. There are that people, sometimes they are no more. They will go away from this world. But you will be here. Praise the Lord. Because you are the child of God. You are holding this Bible without honoring you. Heavenly principle. Our God will honor you. Praise the Lord. 
Today I want to say to all the people, if our God wants to honor you, what you have to do? You have to witness our God in front of everybody. Day and night, whenever you can, do it. Do some gospel track, share some gospel track, take your phone and share some messages, say about the love of God, share your testimony, then you are witnessing our God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See the testimony in Christ. If you are doing like that, whenever you are calling upon me, book of Jeremiah Bible says, call upon to me, I will give you answer. Here I am. I will reply. This is the word of God today I want to say to all the people. Let us pray. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, please stand up again pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for everybody. Those who are watching online, those who are here in this church, I bless them for in Jesus' name. Spiritually and physically, I bless this brother and sister, all the church members. I bless them for Heavenly Father, this is a commandment you gave to us to bring this gospel. Heavenly Father, thank you for your giving and ability and power to bring this powerful gospel in front of everybody. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody. Thank you for your keeping in your glory. I bless every end of this week. I bless them, Father. Thank you for keeping them, protecting them, protecting them, and increasing them, and multiplying them. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I can pray for this. Come forward. You can come forward. I can pray for you. Both you can come. Okay. Heavenly Father, I pray for their birthday. Our sister, I pray for Shade. I pray for both of them. Heavenly Father, I bless them, Father. Give them glory. I bless their life. Any of the health problems, any of the things are coming against their life. Heavenly Father, I rebuke, I bind, I cast out right now. In Jesus' name, I pray. Heavenly Father, I bless them. In Jesus' name, thank you for your giving one long life to them. You already blessed that you are last year. Again, you are granting the more blessings, the spiritual blessings, and anointing them more and more. Thank you for your giving. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So,